Moving south now to the Wolseley Fire, which is not far from the scene of Wednesday night's mass shooting in Thousand Oaks. Our John Blackstone is in Oak Park, California, where firefighters battled the fire through the night. The intensifying Woolsey fire has quadrupled in size in just hours. Firefighters are doing their best to battle the raging flames as they jump from one house to the next. With these high winds, it's really hard with the ember cast that's happened. It's really hard for us to save these, some of these homes. So what we're doing is putting a water curtain in between some homes to stop the fire from leapfrogging and catching other homes on fire. 30,000 people have been evacuated so far. We were there as flames overtook another Oak Park home, despite firefighters' efforts. Big problem firefighters are having here, even when they think they have this under control. Embers fall in another house, blown in by these strong winds, start another fire. The number of evacuees is expected to rise as embers push ahead of the fire. One evacuation center was even forced to close down as the flames spread. And just west of here, another blaze dubbed the Hill Fire topped 10,000 acres yesterday. Hundreds of firefighters are still struggling to contain it. And John is with us now from Oak Park, California, which, as we just said, is being devastated by this fire. John, what is it like right now where you are? We can still see the flames burning behind you. Well, certainly there are flames behind me here. There are flames on the hillside over this way. This neighborhood was being inundated with embers falling from these fires overnight. This uh, neighborhood, 15 to 20 houses burned here overnight. Uh, this is one of them. This was all driven by these, by these wind-driven uh, embers falling down into this neighborhood, just suddenly lighting up a home. Others around it were standing here and there. Homes have been destroyed. So listen, John, as I understand it, um, you know, we were aware that there was a fire burning, say, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday in the area, but overnight, things changed dramatically. What happened? Put it down to the very dry conditions and very strong wind gusts, wind gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Uh, the air here now is uh, clear. The smoke has been blown away, but the fire was coming uh, from uh, over to the, to the west of us overnight, driven by the winds. Embers were falling into this neighborhood. It put it down to the winds and very dry conditions. We can hear the winds just through your microphone there, John. And, you know, these mics are sensitive, but that sounds like really, really strong winds there. Have you talked to anybody the, in the neighborhoods? I mean, I'm guessing that most people decided to get out of Dodge, but are there people that are still there? The neighborhood has been evacuated. There was one man here last night who came running down the street alerting people to a house that was suddenly on fire, alerting fire crews to a house that was suddenly on fire up the street. But generally, no. People have left here. It's too dangerous. Firefighters came in, evacuated this area. Uh, this fire moves very quickly. That's why people are gone. So then, as we understand it, moving through the weekend, the winds are going to continue to remain pretty high. So what's the plan for firefighters? How are they going to battle this? Plans for firefighters are now what they seem to be in California all the time. Be ready and be ready to go. I'll tell you, less than an hour ago, there were fire trucks all around us here now. Those firefighters have had to scramble toward the west uh, where this fire is now moving, jumping across Highway 101, beginning to burn toward Malibu. I guess it's just a matter of containing what you can. Mm. But, uh, you know, we've seen this before, that the wind changes its direction and suddenly, you know, the plan of action has to rapidly change as right. well. Right. John Blackstone, thank you so much.